there campers so today we're gonna be painting I'm super excited and I hope you guys are too go ahead and find your finished polymer clay sculptures those little ones and your giant paper mache animal we're gonna paint both of them today all right come on action hey there campers it's day three we're going to start by painting okay so I have my it kind of looks like a moose but I have my horse and I have my small carousel animal and we're gonna start by painting now in order to paint I have my paintbrush I also have a magazine that I'm I can mix colors on this is sort of my palette. I also have a cup of water and a paper towel, and that's so that I can rinse my brush as I dip from each paint container without contaminating those paints. So I'm gonna start by opening my box, and I'm gonna take out all these paints. Now I gave you guys extra white, and that's because if you do want to paint this a light color, like yellow, you might want to paint it with one layer of white first, let that dry, and then when you paint the yellow on top, the newspaper print won't show through. I think I only need one container of white today because I'm going to be painting my horse pink. Okay, so the first thing I have to decide is whether or not I want to paint this horse all one color or many colors. Since my daughter is a big fan of horses. I think I'm gonna make this for her. So I'm gonna paint it pink with brown spots. Now you could paint yours whatever color you want. I mean, if yours is like a fire breathing dragon, it could go from blue to white to golden and then have fire shooting out of its mouth. All the colors are up for grabs. I've only given you the primary colors, red, yellow, and blue. This way, any color you want, you can mix yourself. If you've forgotten how to mix colors, you can go back to my video for the Decorative and Fine Arts Camp, and that has the Color Wheel Project. So if you need a refresher, you can go check that out. I'm going to start by opening these paint containers. Okay, so first I'm going to mix up some pink. I want this to be sort of a vibrant pink. So I need a significant amount of white. I'll just pour a little bit out. A tiny bit of red. Blomp. And an even smaller amount of yellow. This little bit of yellow will warm up my pink. This way it won't be too bubblegum. <gasps> oh, yes. Oh my goodness, it's gorgeous. Now, if you have spray paint and an adult at your house who's willing to help you, you could spray paint this for your first coat as well. Spray paint is not gonna be good for details, but for overall color, it might be just what you need. I'm not gonna use spray paint on mine. I'm just gonna use what's in the box, but I just wanna put that out there. If you do have it, it could be really fun. Only if you have an adult who is willing to help you. All right, so let's get painting. Now by mixing all of the primary colors together in equal amounts, I've gotten this nice chestnut brown and I'm going to do some spots. Oh my goodness. 
So I painted black on the hooves. And my table's all dirty, but that's okay. Ooh, he still stands up. And I think he's looking very handsome. He has some spots, a brown ear. And this is about as many details as I'm going to do today because I want this to completely dry before I start to add small details. And then again, I'm gonna let that dry before I then glue stuff on. But that's for um, another day. I'm gonna put this guy somewhere to dry. Do -do 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 -do. And it's time to paint my small carousel animals. We're back upstairs where I've put my tiny little carousel animals. Here's Mr. Tiger who broke the other day. He's looking good as new. So now I'm just gonna paint these guys. Okay, up here I'm just mixing on the lid of my Tupperware container that I stored my projects in. And this paint is very washable, so it's okay to use this. Obviously for Mr. Tiger, I would like to start by making some orange. There we go. Now my tiger is all orange. I think I'll paint his uh, saddle here a different color later once he's dry, but we're just doing broad strokes today. Next up is my horse. I'm gonna add a tiny bit more red and blue and yellow to this to make a nice brown color. Let's see how it looks. Ooh. I think I'll leave his mane and his tail white for now and give them more of a gray color. There we go. Ready to go. Okay, a little bit of purple for the saddle. So here are some of my carousel friends. <clears throat> well, I'm gonna to start to add some stripes. I gave him a little nose. You also wanna figure out which way all of your carousel figures will be facing. Mine will be facing this way. So their right side will be what's called the romance side. And yes, my ostrich is still broken. I'll fix him later. But the romance side is the side of the carousel animals that is traditionally highly decorated versus the other side, which usually gets left pretty plain, which is good because these have a little scuff marks here. Great job today, guys. You did it. You painted and painted. Now, don't worry. If you're still waiting for things to dry, I recommend adding details tomorrow after you pour your plaster. Sound good? All right. See you guys tomorrow.